Our next item is P7, Technology Deputy Director's Report, P71, Cross Project Update and Actions. Welcome, Ms. Fleming. Good. I was going to say good morning, but good afternoon. <laughs> Please introduce yourself for the record and Thank commence you. with your presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Madam Chair, Madam Vice Chair, and distinguished and honorable members, I'm Brenda Fleming, the Chief Information Officer for the agency and deputy for the Technology Services Department. It's a pleasure to be here with you. I'm pleased to report that our CROSS project continues to make good progress. The project is still in the procurement phase. However, the proverbial light at the end of the tunnel is close. As an update for you, the proposals have been reviewed and the California Department of Technology has confirmed for us that we are now prepared to move into negotiations. This is a significant milestone for the Board of Equalization and I'd like to pause and give a shout out and thanks to all of the people who contributed to that. That's a really, really major accomplishment. Go team. I look forward to sharing updates on the negotiations as they progress and we'll actually be starting some of that activity next week so I'll definitely keep you posted. Beyond the procurement, we are optimistically expecting to have the vendor on board later this year. During the interim, the project team is working closely with all BOE departments to get our agency fit and ready for the implementation marathon that lies ahead of us. I'd like to highlight some of this month's accomplishments. For example, a number of BOE staff with expertise in key subject areas have been identified to ensure efficient reviews of the vendor's materials and deliverables, and that's, that's going to be key. Many of BOE's forms and reports have been streamlined for consistency in preparation for the new system. Our process flows continue to be reviewed and documented to ensure successful data exchanges with our external partners and internally also. A master schedule of operational and project work agency-wide has been developed and is being reviewed. This information allows us to balance, as Mr. Gao indicated before, allows us to balance the operational work with, uh, the keep, with the keep the lights on kinds of activities with the attention and the staff resources that are going to be needed for the project and it's going to be quite a, quite a balance. Our budget documents for 2016-2017 fiscal year have been prepared and <coughs> they have been submitted for consideration by the Department of Finance and the Legislature. The recruitment and hiring activities to fill the project director position are in progress. The organizational change management core team members are developing materials needed <laughs> to keep managers and staff in the field, out of state, and the HQ offices informed in preparation for the implementation activities. From a budget perspective, what's been accomplished this period is in January of 2016 through January of 2016, the project spent 457, I'm sorry, February, the project has actually spent $457,201. And to date, they spent approximately 61% of the fiscal year 2015-2016 budget, so good shape. Planned activities for the next month. We'll continue working with the Department of Technology on the next steps in the procurement phase, specifically the negotiations as we've mentioned, and continue with the get fit and ready activities led by our organization, our fantastic organizational change management team. Honorable members. This fit and ready campaign is modeled after the fitness training approach that distance runners use in preparation for marathons. Since the path to our new system will take some time, we want to make sure that we are fit and ready to successfully implement a new tax administration system that benefits our taxpayers and our BOE employees. During this next month, we'll focus on preparing BOE for the race. We'll focus on A, what's needed, to transition from the legacy systems, IRIS and ACMS, which you've heard in Ms. Finley's report, has some restrictions as to what it what allows us to do, uh, move, do to use moving forward with our uh, accounting activities. Also, what's needed to perform our core functions like registration, collections, etc. The Fit and Ready campaign will be facilitated by again our great organizational change management core team, a group of managers that represent all areas of the BOE, both in the field offices and in the headquarters. They understand the work processes and unique needs in their areas and are committed to ensuring that everyone can contribute to our successful outcomes. We look forward to sharing more information about this campaign over the next few weeks and months. That concludes my presentation. Please let me know if there's any questions. I thank you for this opportunity. Any questions, members? Ms. Harkey? No, no. I want to thank you for stopping by the office and explain where we are. I feel very confident with where you're going. As you know, minor change order oriented. I want to limit as much possible for those, Absolutely. but I think, I think you're uh, on a good path and I appreciate what you're doing. Thank you. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Towers. 
I also want to say thank you. I'm looking forward to your fit and ready campaign. <laughs> thank you. So <laughs> sure we're ready. Okay. I appreciate it. I appreciate your support. <laughs> the end of campaign. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Fleming, thank for your you. presentation.